clients, spring showers bring May flowers is a common phrase you hear this time of year. For the stock market, you might have heard the phrase before, sell in May and go away. I mentioned in last month's video how I was not selling anything for clients and actually preparing for the markets to go higher in the spring and summer. Here's a chart that shows why you might want to buy in May and stay for the S&P 500. When looking over the last 10 years, the sell in May strategy has not worked. Eight out of the last 10 years from May to October, we have seen the markets higher 80% of the time and up 4% on average. Not to mention that the month of May has been higher the last nine out of 10 years. You have been hearing me say this year that the US election years have been strong for the markets. I wanted to do some research if that was the case as well during times like this. Bottom line, it is. Here's a chart of the returns of the S&P 500 from May to October during a US election year. Now I know this chart isn't the easiest to read, so I'll draw your attention to the blue bar on the far right hand side. Since 1950 from May to October in a US election year, the S&P is up 2.3% on average and up 77.8% of the time. On a side note, I've been talking with clients recently about the federal budget changes and how it could impact you. If you have a rental property, maybe own land, even a cabin, there are some important changes to the capital gains tax you should know. And I'm not sure if your accountant has mentioned to them to you yet, but this is something that I can definitely discuss. If you would like to learn more, please click the link to my calendar below. Talk soon.